He weighed in at 147 pounds. He has a record of one win with three losses. He's representing American Top Team out of Asheville, North Carolina. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Samuel Kleepak. All right, we're moving on to the advanced rules portion of the card for the next two bouts before we go to the pros. Samuel Kleepak getting ready to make his way to the cage one and three out of American Top Team in Asheville, North Carolina. And uh, this is a, a young uh, young prospect, a very uh, highly talked about. Uh, I talked to Jared on the podcast, and he said, even in one and three, don't don't let that define this kid. He is very tough. He's fought very tough competition. Of course, uh, cornered by former uh, UFC fighter, the, the creepy weasel, Steve Montgomery. He enters the cage here in the black and purple to get ready to uh, meet his opponent, Mr. Cameron Day. And his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 145.8 pounds. He has a record of two wins with two losses. He's representing Grubel's MMA right here in Augusta, Georgia. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Cameron Day. Cameron Day of Grubel's Mixed Martial Arts getting ready to make his way in at two and two as uh, yet another Grubel's fighter. Uh, the final, actually, this is the final Grubel's fighter yeah. of, of the evening, so he's looking to put a stamp on it. Well, yeah, well, I, you know, you got ATT making their first appearance. You got against Grubel's ending of the evening. Uh, this should be very, very interesting. The weigh-in yesterday was, 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 you know, cordial but tense. Yeah. Cordial but tense, so. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm very interested because, again, styles make fights. You know, ATT definitely bringing that more professional style of fighting, as in, like, the pro style of fighting. So we'll get a chance to see. Now we'll finally get a chance to see the more of the full repertoire of moves. So this is going to be an interesting one. Other way, it's 145 pounds. We got advanced rules. As you can see, the shin guards are gone. We get ground and pound of the head. Uh, black and purple cleat pack. Black and gray is day. Here we go. Getting at it right off the bat. Both of these guys are long. They are at 145. These are these are tall, long, rangy featherweights. I mean, the first thing you notice is the length. And I tall, 45. Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah. They're, they're, these guys are are, are good sized featherweights. Yes. The question is, how long will they stay? Kleepak, he, uh, he's a youngster. I, I, I believe he's he's a teenager still. He uh, very uh, highly talked about by, by Jared on, on the podcast. Like I said, once again, his record doesn't indicate his, his toughness and his, his level of skill. Did not complete that takedown. That was a nice entry there mm -hmm. by yeah. Day. Day's got that uh, Luis Pena-esque uh, body uh, build, you know, mm. tall, rangy kind of guy. Interesting comparison. What did we I have like here? it. What did we have Low here? blow. A uh, knee yeah. to the right. groin yeah. inadvertently. Right in mommy daddy butt. Mm -hmm. So we'll get a, a little bit of time to compose himself. I Be see the date 1975 on the back of Cleveland's arm. I'm going to guess that is not his date of birth. I'm guessing not either. <laughs> <laughs> if so, time travel is possible. Though. That's right. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, this actually, sorry. Oh, oh my gosh. Wheel kick to the head. That was incredible. Now, when did and he didn't go down. <laughs> That's do even more incredible. See that? And ate it. Yeah, and Day ate it. That was awesome. Wow. Yeah, big takedown from Kleepak. Well, Kleepak turned the switch, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, look at the welt on his leg from that leg kick. I turned the switch. I Look, we can't have too many. We can't have too much of that. I want a lot of that. <laughs> I can count the toes yes. on his thighs. The separation <laughs> is there. People, you don't, that's, woo, yeah, woo. Cameraman zoom in on that, because that's not an exaggeration or a joke. <laughs> Seriously, that's real, and that's not paint. Wow. And uh, now uh, Day is able to scramble and get to the half guard anyway. It, it increases his position a little bit. A little over a minute to go here. Kleepak is, uh, Kleepak is really, impressed here over the last minute or so. You know what else is impressive, Tim? And I'm looking here at the monitors. E2 Productions, who is uh, streaming this for SpectationSports.com, doing a great job. Cameramen are doing a great job. 
Yeah. All right, so let's definitely give it up for Mike Moran at YouTube Productions and SpectationSports.com for running this stream for us here tonight. Yeah, yeah. that's right. For Spectation Sports, the only place you can get this great action here. Make sure you uh, subscribe and follow along as you can catch all kinds of action every month. And now we've got a, a stand up here as uh, well, these guys are going to trade. And Kleepock is really, really uh, looking Highly good. Aggressive. Another spinning uh, kick to the head and, and another so takedown. That spinning attack is fluent. Yeah. There's no hitch. Yeah. It just comes. Yeah, he can strike. He can wrestle. He's, uh, he's looked really good so far. And 20 it's not seconds a move left. that you would normally say is there all night, but it's been there, <laughs> been there. all night yeah. every time he's thrown it. It's, it's swift. super quick. I mean, yes, it just it just comes. Wonder Boy esque. Mm -hmm. Like the next thing you know, you're it's just there, and he's long like Wonder Boy. Yeah. You know? First time the heel hits, though, instead of the uh, flat part Ooh. of that foot, it could be bad. Oh, very, very bad. It's the end of round number one. Very I interesting. I think it's safe to give that first round to Mr. Kleepak, guys. It is, yeah, it is. yeah, yeah. With the, with the control. But I will tell you this if the kicks. Keep coming from either opponent, one to the head, one to the legs. This fight can end quickly because Kleepak takes a couple of more of those leg kicks. It's going to be a problem. And there was a, here's a replay here, Travis. Take us through it. All righty. So you see that kick? That's the kick. That kick literally was left the kick his, that left his, his toe print. His literal mark. His toe prints. I, I, you don't see that often. No. Now, while it was a great kick, if he would start telegraphing those to the caps, we could have a real problem. If he just lowered it a little bit. Woo! Oh my. Yeah. Oh, that force to the calf. Look at Kleepak. This kid is focused over here. There was a little glance across the cage in between two, where he came, kind of gave a little, like, "Yep, you like that? We're there's doing more, it. There's more. There's more of that." So uh, yeah, these guys are. I'm uh, becoming a, a fan of this kid here early. Let's see if Cameron Day can answer here in the second round. We'll see if Grubles has been able to get some adjustments more in the corner. You guys watching at home here in Augusta, I've got to give a shout out too to the North Augusta football team running the cams right. tonight. The Yellow Jackets are in the house helping us. Oh, Kleepak with the left. And he's got Day uh, backing up now, throwing, throwing the kicks and landing the one-two punch. I will say Day landed a pretty nice punch in the er early exchange. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Tim, I gotta ask you too, because again, different states, different rules. Have you noticed tonight, maybe possibly the final canvas, uh, you know, uh, coming into play a little bit? I've, we've seen some slips. Seen some slips. I, I definitely, uh, you know, they, they're they're mopping up the water when they can in between rounds, which is, is helping. But Ooh. I've seen a lot of guys that have that have lost their footing, wow. and this is a big spot here for Kleepak as he lands in the mount and he's letting go with a full on ground and pound, which we're gonna see from here on out. Yes, this is where that those rules mm -hmm. strategy. Kicks in, lovely. Yes, now we have punches to the faces, guys. Peppering him with the left shots. He's got uh, Day starting to scramble around a little bit. Ooh, man, some nice ground and pound from Kleepak. Is now he's inside control, and, and he's, he's got, got that. Uh, he's got he's the handcuffed he's got over the, yeah, here. He, he can't. Oh, he let it go. He did. With a hammer fist. This is nonstop. Yeah, it's yeah a the hammer fist. The referee is has seen very, yeah. very impressive yeah. from Samuel Kleepak. Yeah, yeah. This kid was one and three. This kid's one and three. Now he's two and three. Who beat, who beat that yeah, young man? man that, right. That is a <laughs> really impressive performance. Yeah. Samuel Kleepak. Congratulations. Again, there's there's a reason why the hype was there. Well and deserved. Yeah, man. As, uh, Kleepak uh, gets his record. Only well, here's the here's the replay. I guess it's about where we got uh, the finish here. He had his he had his arm trapped. You know, able to to just rain down and finally let it go. It was uh, you know the referee had seen enough. Well, I mean what. 20, yeah, 20, yeah 20 near straight, that. I'd say that's close. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's a, that's a, you know, step in and do what you got to do type of deal. It's also another win for the blue corner. What is, what, okay. <laughs> the tides have turned. Who went back and had the pep talk? I don't with the blue, know, with the, man. With the, with, the, with the blue room. So that's three in a row here. What's going on? And uh, we'll see if uh, this next one turns the tide before we go to the pros. Two stoppages. Two stoppages at that. Two stoppages That's by right. the blue. The so, blues, I mean, what, what, what are bringing it? What's going on? I know. The same with Kleepak, though. Hey, that was a, that to me is one of the most impressive performances of the night. Yeah. Dominant. Mm -hmm. Dominant. Really good. He went in and forced his will. No doubt. Let's get the exact particulars now with my man, Jeff Hobbs. And I'm sure we'll hear from Samuel Kleepak. All right, ladies and gentlemen, 
Your referee stops this bout at one minute and in 10 seconds of the second round, your winner by TKO out of the blue corner, Samuel Creeper! I'm joined here by your winner, Samuel. Is it Cleveland? How'd that feel, man? Felt amazing. Uh, I really needed this. I hadn't been mentally prepared, like a monsoon, and I showed up this fight. fight. You finished that fight so aggressively, man. You said you haven't been prepared as what you typically like to. What have you gone through just to even get into this cage tonight to even put on this performance? Training three times a day. Swimming, going through it all, training like a real pro. And how does it feel now?